Yeah, the two uh, core streams, the Advanced Composites and Polymers and the Biomedical Engineering, are both available as an MSc and a postgraduate diploma. The MSc runs for one year, from September to September, with uh, two semesters and four modules in each, and then a summer dissertation. And the diploma is the same course, but minus the dissertation. Both the courses are available full-time and also part-time, and part-time takes typically two years for the diploma and three years for the MSc. The students we get are a mixture of, I would say, 50% local students, many of which are part-time that come from industry, and they can do their dissertation based upon their work. And the rest come from uh, local full-time students and uh, international students as well. In terms of the biomedical, it's uh, students that want to work predominantly in the uh, material device uh, sector, which is really important in Ireland and it's growing. It employs um, more than 30,000 people. And on the advanced composites and polymers, it's uh, people from industry who are working for the likes of Bombardier and also people who have done their degree and want to specialise more in a particular area. Yeah, well these are very specialist MSc courses and postgraduate diploma courses, so they're not something that's offered across a lot of institutions and they really build upon our research background. Um, on the composites and polymers, we've got a really strong research team there. We work very closely with the likes of Bombardier, uh, BE Aerospace and a lot of other uh, local and international companies. And by doing an MSc with us, you're really getting access to that really specialist knowledge. Uh, and the same with the biomedical side, we've got a number of uh, spin-out companies like IntelliSense and HeartSign that have come from the research that's happening here. So as a master's student, you get to uh, learn from people who are working uh, in research in those areas and with industry and you get to do your dissertation based in a research group so you're doing proper original research. Yeah, well this lab here is uh, one of the labs that um, students would use to do cell tissue engineering type work and the facilities are really second to none. We've got um, a separate building called NIAS with a lot of composites and polymers equipment in it and which is partly owned by Bombardier and here we've got electron microscope facilities, um, we've got thermal analysis equipment, we've got a full range of characterization equipment and we've got a full range of biological uh, evaluation equipment as well. So we've got really uh, world-class, world-leading facilities. All our courses are fully accredited. The Advanced Composite and Polymer course is accredited with both the IMECI and the IET and the biomedical streams accredited with the IET. Um, without fail, um, our students go on to get really good high-level jobs that they're actually using the uh, skills and knowledge they got during their MSc or they go into further education, um, for example a PhD. So the, the prospects are really good and the class sizes are quite small. That's a positive thing because you get in that one-to-one -one interaction that you don't get in a big undergraduate course. Yeah, so the, the courses consist of eight taught modules, uh, four in each semester for the full-time students. Two of those four modules are compulsory. Then you have one optional module, which you can pick things like electronics, materials, um, manufacturing, uh, business modules. And then you have one extra module, which is either based upon your work or based upon research. And by carefully selecting the optional modules and by picking your dissertation, you can really tailor the course to what you want.